Hey guys, Crew Blind Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Rick. Eric. And we are here with another Justice League movie. We recently watched uh, Flashpoint. Paradox. <sighs> which was fantastic if only for the inclusion of Thomas Wayne's Batman. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so good. And now voted uh, over at patreon.com slash blind wave has been chosen Justice League War, the next in the order of these DC movies. animated universe. Mm -hmm. mm. Which is based more on like the New 52 kind of style than the the older stuff. Yeah, I've always wanted to check these out and the people at Patreon, uh, we don't put them on every single poll, but the polls that we put them on, people were really excited for them, so well, I want to get better. further into it. Yeah. Yes, so, um, previously on the Flashpoint stuff, we kind of met the Flash. Yeah. We saw an alternate universe. Yes. A bunch so of stuff. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, this is the same continuity, but in the first movie, we changed continuity. Yeah. So this is the same continuity, the continuity we changed. Yeah, kind of. Got it. That's kind of how it works. Yeah. So, it might not matter too much, but this is, yeah, taking place after Flashpoint events. Okay. So, and then okay. I'm not going to go into anything else because we haven't seen this movie yet. Like Justice League War. Is it Justice League fighting each other? Civil War? Or is it like war on so another Justice League? There's two Justice Leagues and they fight each other? Like, what's the war, Aaron? Where's the war? Yeah. It's not like... In their minds! Is it like the Atlanteans versus the uh, Thermoscarans? We saw that last time. That was a war. We did see that. That's a hell of a war. Yeah, Brock Lesnar was pissed. Why? Huh? Aquaman looked just like Brock Lesnar. Oh. A little bit. I see. I'm like, I, I don't think he voiced anybody. I imagine this is a similar art style, and we're going to have very buff. Buff! Heroes. Yes. Will we have yeah. a buff Superman? A buff Superman. Because mm -hmm. that he, we were in an alternate reality, but then Barry Allen has come. He came back, right? Now, we did meet. He brought, like, the, the, the thing from... Thomas Wayne to Batman, he Batman's did. red and not yeah. Very touching. Ride, yeah. And we also saw like the Justice League show up and yeah. help at the Flash Museum when yeah. there was like the events happening there, right? Yeah. So, so no skinny yeah. super. Snuck in with him and came back to who? Biff. Biff. Yeah. From the time with, with his almanac. Oh, yeah. Back to the Future. That might have happened. So okay. now he screwed up everything. From okay. the time. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be getting into this movie. Remember, you can check out the full-length reaction over at uh, our Patreon, which is something that we provide over there. But mm. we're also watching this on HBO Max, mm. so it's an easy uh, way for you guys to just watch along with us. If you've never seen these set of movies, it's a great time to jump on and watch them along with us. So yes. I, I don't know how long it'll take us to get through all, what, 14? Yeah, there's a few of them. And I, I have seen this one and a couple other random ones, but... So, gotcha. I've, so I've you seen, seen them all. I've you seen this one once, and gotcha. I've seen a few others. I haven't seen them all, and I haven't seen them in order. Mm. So. Okay. Going in fresh. Yeah. Let's do it. Gob. Ah, oh, it's Man Bat. It is Man Bat. No, I don't think it is. Uh, you can see, like, he had, like, three claws. Yeah, but he usually doesn't wear, like, a Green Lantern. You want to dance? Let's dance. It's not dancing. Oh. But you're the one with the ring. No, no, don't! No. Crap! I think that's a parademon. I think that might be a parademon. <laughs> An what elevator. It's all a matter of willpower. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> you saved me. Okay, that was better. Oh, man. Real Batman! What were you doing at the docks? I want answers. I can't speak. Oh, God. Mm. You saved your ass. That's that a parademon. Take your glow stick and go home. Gotham's mine. <laughs> you bear trap. Let's put a wall up. <laughs> right? Oh, what the hell did you do? <laughs> what is... What the hell did you do? Damn it, Jimmy! <laughs> the, gra the glass is broken inward. Your dad just comes and starts kicking your ass. <laughs> no! I didn't do it! <laughs> As I was saying, Green Lantern can do anything. Except shut up, apparently. Wow, someone forgot to take their true blood tonight. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. Seriously? Uh, I thought with the darkness and the vanishing, then the what, super strength? I've seen this scene. I think it's shit out of the comic. Yeah, it is. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Nobody asked you to prom, so now you dress as a bat and prowl around your parents' basement? What's this do? 
What? Two buttons. I assume it works off concentration. <laughs> Hal, you're you an idiot. <laughs> you weren't concentrating. <laughs> you won't do that again. Oh crap, that's a bomb and he just armed me. Lander, wait! No, I'm taking him now! Oh. My dad's got the tickets. You mean your granddad? Uh, yeah. What'd I say? Hey! Idiot. Is that Billy? That looks like him. I had the same colors. Yeah. Oh, they even have a name on there, just so you know, Dad's not here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he probably play, paid Nick? for the stadium. <laughs> well, if you've never seen it, you don't know who that guy is. Gun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. Scat right, Y option on heart. He's <laughs> <laughs> took the seat. Well, it's empty. <laughs> Next up, Nationals. He didn't make it to Nationals. <laughs> You're not dead. <laughs> Get that kid. Oh. Didn't look like he was using it. You see a kid run through here? Riker. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I would look behind the door if the guy looked behind the door. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Of course, he creates a jet so he can fly, travel in close. Me. I've been tracking his flight path. <laughs> On what? Your own satellite? Turn. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I love them, like, getting to know each other. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's fighting one, too. He's going quite fast. Wait here. I got this. <laughs> oh, no my way. God. Really? He's just get in the way. Here's the plan. Green Lantern kicks Superman's ass. TMZ's got the video. What a dick. He's hell. <laughs> he is so brooding in there. Oh, Gotta kill oh my <laughs> gosh! So, what can you do? He has x ray vision, he's behind you! I can still see you. See, this is a classic Batman v Superman fight. Mm hmm. Be careful, he'll start to try. Oh, God. I love how the camera went backwards. Yeah. This is crazy. Here, kill someone. Like a hamster ball. Superman. Oh, I like the rainbow effect. No, we won't. You bruise, but you don't kill. Do that. Clark. <laughs> you did some research. You've made your point. Bruce Wayne. He cheated. Who the hell is Bruce Wayne? Worth a shot. Hey, hey, what happened? We're done fighting? <laughs> it's relative, by the way. It's a big universe. Let the invasion begin. Is uh, Darkseid still Michael Ironside? He always played him. He plays him a lot, but no, it's not. No? Damn. You're never gonna come to one of my games, are you? Careful what you wish for. No. Dr. Stone, something's happening. We can talk about this later. Man. Silas is a lot more of a dick in this version. <laughs> yeah. Than uh, Doom Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> I thought Doom Patrol was rough. Uh -huh. I'm trying to lock in on the signal now. This thing is more important to you than your own son. Victor, stop! It's gonna blow! Ugh. And there's more. Here they come. Got a couple. So powerful. <laughs> a lot of them. Whoa! <laughs> That's cool. Like I've been making all three. kinds of cool shit, man. If I had this power. Uh -huh. 
Parademons are voiced by the your friendly neighborhood creature voice actor for everything. D. Bradley Baker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's terrible looking. That is. Is it, it like is. ice on it? It looks kind of frozen. It looks like crystals. No, oh, they just left her behind. Sarah. Oh, my God, Sarah. It cut in half. What if it cut her in half? Did you see he like, pull under and all the way? Yeah. Oh. Crutch in half. Oh, yeah. That was a it's thick door. Cut. Was a yeah, thick door. Like, yeah, it's cutting into thirds. I've taken apart and rebuilt most of it. It can save my son's life. It has to. <laughs> <laughs> What's that holding down? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, I'll get this one. What? Prometheum skin grafts? His body could reject them completely. It won't. I've injected the nanites. After nanites! No, no. Curse you, Ray Palmer. No, 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 no. Ooh, oh, needles. a bunch of iron. Oh, God. Holy oh, shit! The whole thing went in! That went so deep in his head! It was like three needles inside of each other! What are you eating? You gonna steal that kid's ice cream? It's the greatest food in the world, if you ask me. <laughs> you idiot. Aww. She doesn't understand. <laughs> ice cream is wonderful. What is the Wonder Woman plot in this movie? <laughs> Does she not have like trade on her planet? Are there not vendors? I'm very proud of this achievement. Quit pointing your sword at him. Yeah, he failed a while ago. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it taking all of the metal from that? No, he's the thing. No, it's a proto molecule. Oh, you're right, Rick. Don't get it in your eye. I could compel you to disclose this secret. Or I could just take you there. Well, they're screaming. Quit eating ice cream, you got to save people! No! This guy's lost so much today! My cabbages! Hey, Dr. Stone. I'm in trouble! Oh, that was the flash. You can get there quick. Oh! Mm, Stop. <laughs> Gosh, he's Holy huge! Holy shit! He's fucking he's huge! So he looks like the juggernaut. <laughs> Swinging him around. All right, well, <laughs> doing better than Batman on day one. Dude, there's some great action and animation in this. What? It's just grabbing shit. Like the symbiote almost. <laughs> yeah! It made rocket launchers. It did, Calvin. It looked like a muffler. Came as quick as I could. <laughs> no. White noise cannon enabled. White noise? I like that a whole lot more than the one from Doom Patrol. It's a hell of a cannon. He made him into cubes. We need to take a step back and regroup. There's too many of them just to barrel through. Yes? Tell that to Superman. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Come and get some ugly. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> I love when that kid says Shazam. <laughs> that would be horrible. Uh, we need to get Stevens at all. This POV person POV shot. Diana shot is great. She like hammer chopped oh. his arm off. Lands <laughs> down. I resign effective immediately. There we go. Yeah, he was going towards the capital. Are we okay? What's going on? And he's punching. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> She's like, dang, he's hot. 
<laughs> You're strong. I know. Not the time, guys. <laughs> Forming the earth. It's about to get ugly. That fits. How do you figure? Well, for one thing, the water's on fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're too late. He's here. Oh, Jesus. This is the second movie of this series? Mm -hmm. I am Dark Side. Stand back and peep the light show. Green Lantern's got this. <laughs> go with the best skin beat Superman. Oh. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> I've seen that! I've seen that! <laughs> oh my god! That was the best! <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I'm not through with you. So big. Now you die. Wait, no. Oh crap. Oh my god. It's like a nuclear bomb. Oh no, Superman. Oh, oh shit, jeez. Ah oh, man, that's gonna make for a good it's a hell of a thing to harvest. Where the hell are you going? Hey! I'm going to get Superman. <laughs> Take me! <laughs> harvest me! Bruce Wayne, huh? <laughs> oh, that was cool. Versus the beast type. Uh, uh. Ah! Well, there's oh, one. Ah, the marine. His knife was on the left side, making him right-handed, which means the power must be here. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's a detective. He's like Sherlock Holmes. I like that. He must be right-handed. So power must be. Oh, gosh. Well, let's see. Superman might bruise, but he doesn't kill. He's more than bruised. Keep hitting him from the left side. Well, he dodged the flash. There's only one beam. I like that. that. Was cool. He like wound it up on the shield and threw it back. Now, Flash, take out the other eye. Run out the, the roof. <laughs> A crowbar? Thanks for your help. So I need to save the world. Thanks for your help. I got it. Come on, Gordon Freeman. Yeah, I think that worked. 
<laughs> now we have no more problems. <laughs> all of them versus him. But all we got is Batman on this side. Darkseid is transferring data to those metal cubes. They call them mother boxes. They're creating portals, boom tubes. I just have to speak their language. I didn't understand a single word you just said. Oh, yeah, he has, he has connecting to network. There's the boom tube. Suck it up. Oh, he made a bunch. Yeah. What, you want more? Oh, jeez, <laughs> oh he made a bunch. You want more? <laughs> Damn it. Hey, what are My ninja star. <laughs> It'll help. <laughs> <laughs> They're explosive. Uh, get a sword. Initiating boom tube closure. I was gonna cut him in half. Ah, oh, darn. Yeah, that'd be great. Did he? Did he grab Diana's sword? I don't know. Get him. You. He just takes his jersey and lets the kid fall. <laughs> 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 We should leave before they blame us again. Or... That one guy. I did walk up to him and was like, yeah, there they are! We're gonna congratulate them! Today marks a momentous day in human history. After I did the heavy lifting and pulled everyone together? You're referring to when you botched my very simple directives and one woman led the charge? <laughs> I video. You emailed it to me. <laughs> I really hate you, Bats. <laughs> I can't believe people are no longer afraid of us. I shouldn't be up here. It looks pretty sleek. Of course you should. We won. Be proud. Your dad looks like he is. <laughs> Does that also have his name? <laughs> <laughs> like a chair reserved for Silas. I am very pleased to introduce to you. Gee, I didn't even ask. Do you guys have a name? <laughs> yes, we do. We do? That's right. You can call us the Super Seven. The oh, Seven? Please don't call us that. The mm -hmm. Super Seven? What? You don't like it? <laughs> <laughs> um, is there an after credits? There might be an after credits. I think there was supposed to be one in Flashpoint. We didn't watch it. Oh, we didn't? Yeah. What was it? Whoops. I don't remember. Was it good? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Was it, it Superman? It was forgettable is what it was. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen it if I remember. Was it just Superman scolding you for waiting? There we go. Oh, no. The oxygen destroyer. Aquaman's going to be pissed. I was, gonna, I was wondering where Aquaman, Aquaman was and all this. Ocean Master. Yeah. Surface dwellers have killed our king. This is an act of war, and they will pay. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Uh -huh. Maybe next time we'll have a Just war. Like Another war, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like the movie. I think I like this one maybe better than Flashpoint. Mm -hmm. Just in terms of uh, not so much story. It just was a fun watch. I enjoyed. Um, the characters' interactions a lot, mm -hmm. like especially like in the beginning too, with like Batman and 
uh, Green Lantern. They're talking the sewers and stuff too, and just just like what, what are yeah. you? Just a, just a guy in a suit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've seen <laughs> a lot of this movie in clips or GIF form. Okay. Like now that I've seen it, because yeah, I, I've seen that scene, and there was a few others, <laughs> like him just getting jumped. That yeah, was not the best. Oh, <laughs> they just both committed. It was like a Family Guy sketch. It is. It happened so fast. It it just, <laughs> both right like. So <laughs> his, his legs and his arms are like peeling off the pavement. Like, I could get hit in the back. Like I, ah. I could really watch that like all day. Just that small <laughs> clip. Uh, I so I mean whenever the new Fifty Two started, I was like, I'm gonna try to get into like you know this might be a good. It's a good time to join in, point. right? So I definitely remember the first five minutes of the movie with Green Lantern and Batman. Mm -hmm. I've read that as a comic, but I never saw it. And so I knew the ring thing was happening, you yeah. know? I love that moment, too. That's a fantastic just like, moment. What's this dude? What's so you're just a dude? dude? That's all you are? It's like, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> and then he, just, then he turns into just a dude. The know? Green yeah. Lantern-Batman dynamic might be the best in the movie. Yeah, it definitely is. I think so. I mean, I liked how they, how they paired uh, Billy and you know, Victor. Victor together, too. But... The Green Lantern and Batman stuff just carried it. It was good. And then he's like complimenting Flash, like, you have tight, efficient work. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that too. Uh. No, yeah. And we also go from like the, you know, society like not for them. The police are hunting them sure. down, uh, protesting Wonder Woman, yeah. all that kind of stuff too. And then they go in the other way. But I also really like the Wonder Woman like protest. And she's like, what's your truth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as that was happening, I could remember, like, I think Aaron has told me about this scene before. I might have, yeah, after, yeah. whenever I first watched it. Because uh -huh. it's such yeah. a, it's a funny moment. I love it. It's so good. This guy's, like, protesting, yeah. Wonder Woman, you're a problem. You dress like a whore. Yeah. <laughs> you know? He's like, I dress like her, too, so I can feel powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel powerful, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That um, was a good moment. But, yeah, no, a lot of the... A lot of the voice actors, I think, I don't know why, and I, I need to figure out if there's some major reason. I don't know if it's, like, continuity-wise, right? Like, Flashpoint is said to be the first one, and then there's this one, but they haven't met in this one, so you're re-meeting. So I wonder yeah. if you're, like, jumping back yeah. in the new Flashpoint timeline, yeah, and you're jumping back was... to where they are, because also, like, all the voice actors are different. The Batman isn't the same Batman, well, two men's the, different. I mean, the costumes are different. Yeah, all that's different, so... Yeah, I don't really it, see much connective tissue between this and the last movie. Yeah, and even, like, Flash goes and talks to Batman, but here he just first meets him, so... Yeah. Um, Though, I mean, to be fair, that's exactly what happened in the comics. They had a Flashpoint event, right? Mm -hmm. And then they reset everything by doing the New 52 continuity. So, so... So we're to assume that this is, like, the same continuity, but a different, like, parallel universe with this, different... This, slightly different... People of the same I think the only thing that makes it a little weird is just, and I love it in the last movie, Flash giving the note to Bruce Wayne yeah. from his dad. But if it wasn't for that, I feel like, oh well, they did that and it reset everything, and now here's what we're doing, you mm -hmm. know. But yeah, but they already knew each other, so I'm not sure. I was trying to also look at it beforehand too, but I couldn't find like a, a solid like, here's what's Reason. going on kind of thing. So I have to look a little more. Hmm. But with that said, yeah, like this following New Fifty Two stuff. So instead of like. Aquaman being here, being a founding member of Justice League, it's Victor Stone. Like, he was a founding member of Teen Titans before, but now he's a founding member of Justice League. True, yeah. So. And I've seen, I don't know, the, the Victor Stone transformation a couple of times now in various stuff. I think I liked this one the most, just because I, I liked the, like, giant hulking look he had yeah. as he's coming out. It's yeah. not quite there, you know? Uh, I mean, nothing beats the Doom Patrol, Victor. I think he's probably the best in terms of like just watching and being enjoyed by, you know, uh, enjoying that character. But I like the uh, origin of this one here. Mm. Silas is such a dick. He is. He was like, football means nothing. It's only about these superheroes. And at the end, it's like, hey, your dad's finally here. And he's sitting there like, yes, football means nothing. It's only about superheroes. I was right. <laughs> it's kind of the message of that, you know? Yeah, I guess. It's like, he did he really learn? Or am I understanding that he was like, oh, man, you know? Did he learn, is, but it happens that his son is now a superhero? Yeah, that was, I mean, or is the loss of his son yeah. what is putting him here, being like, I'm going to support yeah. him in what he's doing? And is it a coincidence that it's superhero work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and is it also, does he feel justified in... In what he did, you know, doing all that research and, and ignoring his son, because that's inevitably what saved his son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and you know would he feel better about having more time with his son and then mm-hmm. losing his son or having the time from now on and helping humanity technology all that advance yeah, yeah. but yeah I think it's also to uh, with him be, with it being New 52 and stuff but a nod they had here which I don't remember if they did in the comics or not but he's on a team that's a different name than what it originally was which is the Titans but I think it's a nod towards him being a member of the Teen Titans mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so I forget what the name of the old team was I want to say it was like, like a bird like a hawk or something like that but I can't remember the Thunderbolts Thunderbolts am I right about that I don't know I can't remember what it was it might be a Marvel thing you said hawk. I just was. I don't know why I went thunderbolt. I don't know why I'm naming <laughs> birds. But yeah. yeah, maybe. Gotcha. I can't remember. No. Yeah. Because when you guys are saying like, oh, like Attack on Titan, I was like, I think it's because he's a Teen Titan. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, yeah, because some of the banners said like Attack of Titans or something like that. Fight on Titans. Fight on, Fight on Titans. Titans. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. yeah. Which I mean, in the in the trailer for uh, you know the Justice League movie. Uh, he was on a football team called the Titans, too. Oh, was so, he? I believe so. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I think it was called the Rogues. Maybe I'm wrong about that. <laughs> He's going to keep naming it. Thunderbolts. <laughs> Rogues. That's I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it helps for me that this is an animated cartoon. Because, I mean, it's not like the story or the character progression is very deep or... The, the tone doesn't really have a realistic feel to me, you know? Sure. But I yeah, feel like... It was, it was kind of an exhausting pace. Like, I, yeah. I, I get that it's called war, but there's, like, fighting for yeah. 85% of this movie. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I, I definitely agree. Like, it, the, the pace was pretty exhausting. Um, but, again, I don't know. It being a cartoon kind of, like, softens a lot of my... My criticism, like I, I do feel like the the DC movies, the DC you know uh, expanded uh, universe that we got, cinematic universe, I should say, like it went real gritty and went real hard and real tried to be real real, you know, and this isn't really trying to do that. I think that like a like DC would fall well somewhere in the middle, in the you middle. know, with like the humor of this and that, yeah, and a little bit. See, and this also it's not this isn't here to introduce you to. Who these characters are necessarily, how they became heroes, and all that kind of stuff. It's assuming you already knew. It's really yeah. only Vic. A lot it's of that, right? Vic. Yeah. Which is done in a lot of iterations, I guess. Too, I don't know. Like, sure. Even the Justice League movies, like that was one of the movies where like we got introduced to Cyborg in that movie versus him having his own like coming of yeah. age story of here's how I became a superhero. I definitely get you, and I enjoy that only because I know these characters. Mm-hmm. You know, if I didn't know these characters, I might be a little confused. Uh, I mean, that was one of my criticisms of like Young Justice is that we'll just get a character for an episode. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Am I supposed to know? And the answer is yes. You're supposed to know. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, this, is a, this is a thing for a hardcore DC fan. And I'm like, all right. I mean, I like DC, but I haven't read every comic. I certainly don't know the thousands of characters. You know, all that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So, but I, I feel like you're playing it pretty safe with the Justice League. You know, yeah. I'm like I kind of know this. Yeah. So I mean the main ones here, like most people know, the ones I think are a little bit more like the obscure ones are probably Shazam and Cyborg where Agreed. everyone else is like ones that have been around for a long time that yeah. people for the most part already know the basis of. Yeah. So <clears throat> like the standard I always hold is like my dad could name five of the seven characters in the Justice yeah. League. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Could your dad name these guys if you just saw saw, yeah. saw a picture of them? Exactly. You know? I was like, well you probably name those Four or five. Yeah. Do well, you know who those ones are? Uh, Lightning Bolt Man. He definitely no, gets like, Superman, Batman, Wonder Superman. Woman, The Flash, and I think that he'd get Green Lantern, but he might not. Yeah, and he'd be like Robot Man. Yeah. Uh, Green Goblin. And Lightning. <laughs> it'd, be, Lightning guy. it'd be shocking if like my dad was like, "Yes, uh, that's Victor Stone, Cyborg, and this is uh, yeah, this Southern is Shazam. Violence. He used to be called Captain Marvel. Yeah. I don't know if you guys knew this. <laughs> I've been like, what? What? <laughs> You been playing with Kenny's toys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I, I like you know the, the humor. <laughs> you know It'd be great if he like transformed during the during the lockdown of the pandemic. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are you gonna do? He's like, oh, I'll just do this. He just fell into a deep YouTube hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's an but, no, I agree. I like the the humor side of it rather than it just being a dark, yeah. gritty fighter like the whole time. Like, sure. although you know, this has got more blood. Than most Marvel stuff, I feel like too. Yeah, I mean, 
There wasn't. They didn't hold back on some stuff. Like dark side <laughs> eye and stuff. Just yeah. yeah. And, and every time Diana cut one of those things in half, she was just covered in that purple like yeah electric <laughs> yeah, but blood see, coming from her mouth too. There's something about not red blood being okay. You know, like that oh, was yeah. video games did the same thing, right? Like yeah, you could change sure. the color of blood, and now it's not rated M anymore or something. And it's the same thing happened in Dragon Ball. Piccolo's blood was purple, not red. So that you could show it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's something about doing only that, in America, but, by the way. But yeah, just tossing in the comedy. I love, like you said, Batman and Green Lantern's like relationship and the humor between them. And then like when Flash comes in, he's like, "Oh, this guy's a prick." Yeah. He's like, "Hey, I enjoy your stuff. Hey, you've done good work." And mm-hmm. then like, Green Lantern's like, yeah. "What the hell?" I like the joke too. Like, you got someone in your nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I like, I like when it's like, Flash, we need you to do it now. And then, uh, I need to save the world. Bye. <laughs> he just takes that guy's crowbar, <laughs> gives like a fast explanation, and steals it. I like how he talks fast too in this. <clears throat> yeah, agreed. He he definitely has the the best exit of an awkward moment where he's just like, "I'm gonna go. See ya." <laughs> I think they need me downtown. Is Wonder Woman's thing usually like um, naive about like the world and technology and things? Yeah, yeah. She okay. grows she grows up on Themyscira. For some reason, I thought that was more of like a Supergirl thing. Supergirl. I mean, I mean, she was launched off like the same time as Clark. Got stuck into the the whatever zone. Phantom zone. Eventually, got her way out of it mm. and showed up years later, but still young. Yeah, but she wasn't going to be familiar with it, but it'd be like. It's basically like a teenage Clark Kent arriving on Earth and not knowing the mm-hmm. customs or what things are like there, you know? Yeah. But she's kind of similar where she grew up on an island of warriors that didn't really have technology or ice cream or anything. And when she comes to the States, you know, it's trying to figure out what these things are. But I feel like they would still have commerce. Like, you would still know a man that's selling goods. Uh, this is point, point of what I am take it. Eventually, <laughs> eventually they do, but they they start out like Wonder Woman is introduced to the world at like their isolated society, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, they might not have commerce on Thermoscara, right? I think it, it's, it's, it's a very thing well, where, like, everybody gets what they need. It very well could just be like a, a commune. Yeah, like, you just have a community of things, right? Like, you're a community growing. Like, a Native American tribe wouldn't necessarily have commerce. They might have trade or bartering amongst each other, possibly, right? But if they're but they might have tribe. it with other tribes. Yeah. But I don't know. So, yeah. I, I get you, though, being like... Ice cream now. It's like shit. Okay, just don't cut off my arms. Here you go. And then a parademon comes in. Just like, ah! <laughs> oh, uh, poor guy. No, no. I, you know, I like how they kind of brush it off, but like, you know, this happens in like Avatar: The Last Airbender too. It's like, well, I'll never kill anyone. I'm like, you certainly killed people. People have died because of you, you know. But like. Here where it's like, all right, what about those people that are being harvested terribly right now, you know? Uh, we'll go get them and bring them over here. Yeah. But even just the course of the, the fight, battle. the battle. like side was just flying around exploding. Yeah, you know, it was just like, fuck this, fuck this. I'm like, dude, aren't you harvesting? It's like a farmer out there in his wheat being like, fuck this piece of wheat. You know? Even before that, when Superman's hitting like the ping pong ball that is Green Lantern. Yeah. Like, he's just wrecking in a car. Like, at buildings. one point, there's a guy on the sidewalk, and it, like, hits it. He goes, ah! And we never see him again. <laughs> like, I don't think that guy's fine. Is he okay? I don't think he, like, <laughs> landed in a tree, and he's yeah. hanging on like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Beetle Bailey. Uh, I just, you know, I think the the cartoon tone of the, of the of, like, softens that, like, I mean, surely millions of people died this day. What is shouldn't Menace, be having a celebration at the Capitol. And Steel covers that, don't they, a little bit with like uh, the laser eye stuff, right? And, like, well, exactly. I mean, yeah. a lot of people like criticize like, Man of Steel for that, but they don't see that that's the yeah. point. Well, I mean, that's also like the uh, that leads into Batman. Yeah. Right? Batman v Superman. Batman's like, oh my yeah. gosh. Exactly. He's, like, yeah. He's just killing people. He's there in the aftermath of his building mm-hmm. being destroyed and stuff. So, no, yeah, I get you. And sometimes it's like, well, you're not thinking about that. But then when you come back to like, the cleanup crew or the normal people yeah. who are just like, Jesus! Sure, <laughs> you know? yeah. Thank God that guy's gone, but ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, the uh, the entire product placement scene in BVS. <laughs> of the mm. new Jeep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of the new Jeep. I don't yeah. That. There's got to be, like, if you live in a town with a superhero, like, I bet you there's, like, some kind of required, like, superhero insurance. Probably. Like, you probably have to pay a certain amount of insurance. It's like you have to have flood insurance. I mean, and Superman's, it, like, saving people, and it's like, I'll save you, and, like, grabs someone's car and throws it at Parademon. Honestly. And the guy's like, no, that's my car. 
<laughs> it might be more worth it than like flood insurance or something. Oh, yeah. Know? Because like it doesn't rain yeah. every day. But there's a superhero in your town every day. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, like Angel Grove with the Power Rangers yeah, has a I'd giant getting, kaiju fight every yeah. week. I'd be getting like a like a Megazord insurance. I'd be you know? moving. Well, yeah, I'd probably get that too. I'll be going deep into Appalachia. I always love in how West like, Virginia. They'll never find me. I always love how that Power Rangers is always like they're in like this kind of country-ish area town thing, uh-huh. but then once they morph and do Megazords and have giant monsters, there's like giant size skyscrapers, skyscrapers everywhere yeah. and stuff. Yeah, because it's from a different show. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why the guy's delivery, whenever Wonder Woman was walking across the street, the guy's delivery, that you don't even see him, he goes, get out of the way, you freaky bimbo! It's really funny. The guy in the car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really funny. Um, and I did like uh, Diana's pantheon comparisons of the of the uh, Justice League. Yeah, it fits pretty well, yeah. right? Yeah. I like it. She's like, I've never met anyone like you. Mm-hmm. And then Steve's like, fuck. <laughs> 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 Poor fucking Steve. It's like, Diana, we can get ice cream. Ah! And then he just has to run away from being harvested for the next hour. Yeah. And then he gets back and she's already made, you know. Well, her th- his thing too is like, you know, I can take you to get some good ice cream. You know, I know I know a place. She's like, I can get the information from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't need you. I have this. The last one you can get the information that I need. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But uh, but no, yeah. The comparison of the pantheon stuff, like I like what they do with like Zeus and uh-huh. Hermes, and it, it just it, it fits really well, kind of with what they've got. She, I love when Diana, she can give herself a god though. She just sees Clark in, through the camera in the cockpit. It's like wow, and she just goes down there and looks at him. <laughs> like, she comes uh, down on the landing gear. Yeah, it's like the most awkward flirting him. we've ever like, done. Wow, you're strong. Comes they just like stare. <laughs> she comes out like I feel like Spider Man will come down. Yeah, yeah. Not like Wonder Woman. I'm just like, guys, people are dying. Uh, though the, uh, there was a lot of, you know, I agree with Rick. It was a hard paced action for about an hour, you know? Sure. Yeah. Uh, but in there, there were moments that were way better than others, like Diana's point of view through the plane. Uh, there was yeah. a lot of Diana stuff, especially when she's. She first started engaging that I thought was really well animated. Mm. Like her, um, like doing that little hop over and then like yeah. grabbing it from behind and ripping its head off. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Yeah, a lot of Diana stuff. Very savage. I, I love the choice to keep her with the sword, you know, to differentiate. I, yeah. I like the sword option for her. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have the shield or anything. She has a sword and she has like her bracers. Bracer. Her bracers. Yeah, yeah. I, I always felt like the shield was redundant because mm-hmm. everything that she could do with the shield, she could also do with the bracers. Yeah. And. That just takes away her other hand for her sure. lasso or sword. Yeah. But I also really enjoyed the Batman Superman fight in this one. The which one? The first one. The first one they did. Yeah. Yeah. The the running away. Yeah, that one was <laughs> fantastic. It, it, it just shows so much. Like if you, if you don't know these characters, let's say this is your first time watching, you learn everything you need to learn about them just in that fight. Like, Superman is overpowered, cannot be beat. Mm-hmm. Batman is just a guy mm-hmm. that has a bunch of stuff, and he somehow figures it out. Yeah. He was you know? throwing everything in. Exactly. You know? just, he was just trying to escape, and, and Superman was holding back so hard. <laughs> like, I, I, I love, like, the moment where it's like, you know, you have this uh, space cop and the you know, fastest man in the world talking about Batman, and Flash is like, Oh my God, he's real, Batman! I'm like a guy that dresses like a bat. That's all he does, but that's why he's so great, yeah. you know. Well, it's great that like he stopped him with detective yeah. skills. Mm-hmm. He's like, mm-hmm. hold on, Clark. Right. Yeah. I love how he would just mention oh. everyone's name as we went through. You know, he's like I didn't even tell you my name. Like Clark, Sorry, Hal. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, because when he takes the ring off, you see how Jordan on his fight yeah. suit for a second. So it's like, hmm. And he just saved it for a long time. But like he mentioned how he studied. Uh, Superman for a little while and stuff, but mm-hmm. and that he followed the Flash too. So like, how much information on each of them does does he have, and is that I why mean, he knows all these names? You know, he's got to have a dossier on all of them, right? Yeah, I mean, Wonder Woman doesn't. She just she just says her name. You know, there's no yeah. alternate identity there. And then Silas was created here, so mm-hmm. not much to know. Yeah, Victor, Victor Stone's just Victor. whoever he is. Have you he doesn't even have a name. Like, who are you, Cyborg? I don't know. Yeah. Victory. I've seen the first episode of Justice League Unlimited. I think. And uh, in that one, the Justice League all meet up 
but they don't like they're running away from something, but they don't know each other, so they don't trust each other. And Batman's trying to get them to, and they're all like arguing, you know, about like we don't even know who you are. And he literally sits there and says everybody's name, <laughs> you know, everybody's name. He's like, now you know each other. They're like, how'd you know? He's like, I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm a detective. Uh. <clears throat> anyway, uh, you know the Green Lantern <clears throat> power has never been one that I've ever been like, you know, like the, the construct out of will and stuff. I don't know why. I've never been like a fan of it, but I enjoyed the quirks and different things. The that things they did he used. Yeah. I like his giant robot. and Yeah. I like catching Flash on a bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Just little things like that. The but the best one was like the mech suit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> like I like you know I've always thought like well I mean how Jordan he's a he's a fighter pilot so he does a lot of military stuff yeah. you know or he just like a big fist that or was something. like the defense of Zion or whatever yeah right? like there was giant like yeah but that one was like holy shit yeah he just watched Matrix two or three or whatever no that one's a fun one I like yeah mm-hmm. uh what else Alan Tudyk was Superman you said mm-hmm. right. Yeah, there's a few ones that I recognize. There's a few others that are from different things, but uh, yeah, Alan Tudyk was Superman. Uh, Batman was Jeffrey Mace, which from is like Shield. Jason O'Hara, O'Hara, o- O'Hara, O'Mara, something like that. Yeah. Um, and then what did you guys uh, think of the Batman voice? I mean, it's very, it's different from Kevin Conroy. It's different, used, it's yeah. different but yeah. it's serviceable. Uh, I got used to it. Yeah. yeah. Like I, at first, it was jarring, but exactly. By the end of it, it was uh, fine. I was like. It sounds like somebody's trying to do Kevin Conroy. Yeah. It's like, like an ADR where they couldn't get Kevin back, so someone did like a facsimile, mm-hmm. but then it just kept going. I was like, uh, okay, I, I just gotcha. But I think um, I'll deal with it. I think he has done. He did another voice of something. I want to say it was Superman that we watched at some point because I think we talked about that. Like, oh man, that's him. I, I know but, that he's known for being Superman, so um, that's why I was interested. Like, oh, he's doing, been, he's doing Batman. That's crazy. Yeah, but I think a lot of these voice actors are the ones that continue through, like, more of the, the, the movies now. next the rest of set of movies. Through, through a lot of them. So, like, when you get into, like, more Batman ones, you'll have him be in it. And I think Alan sticks with some of the Superman stuff, too. So. Okay. That's cool. I really liked Alan's Superman. So, I know at least he does, but I think some of the other ones stick around, too. I don't know if all of them do. I think it's a testament to how good... Both Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill are as Batman and, and Joker because I've watched a lot of different iterations and, and cartoons and stuff, but I only think of one voice when I'm like, "That sounds different." Like yeah. I only think of Kevin Conroy and I only think of Mark Hamill. You know, like or when you Alan the comics. Like, yeah, it, it, it's you in that hear it in their voice. Like yeah. Alan Tudyk has a fantastic Joker, you know, but it's still not Mark Hamill. You know, sure. But like, I just every time you when you first hear someone, there's that. At least for me, there's that moment in the head where I'm going like, "All right, let's pass the Kevin Conroy check." Nope, <laughs> you know. <laughs> See, so it's like a, it's like a little layer that I have to get over. Is that a thing of like how good they are? Or is it also a mixture of like who your first Batman is too? I I'd honestly be, think it's how I'd good they are. I'd be curious to have like someone who's like never heard Kevin Conroy, sure. like listen to some other Batman first, yeah. like watch something, like watch this series and get this Batman's voice. Yeah. And then when you go back and watch the other ones, like what are your thoughts on that Batman? And are you gonna be like, ah, that's not Batman for me? <laughs> See, I, like, I, I get what like, you mean. I, get I you think mean. I agree with Eric because Kevin Conroy wasn't my first Batman mm-hmm. in animated form. Was he not? But. but it's the first time I heard Kevin Conroy do it, it was like, mm. oh, wow, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of depth yeah. behind I mean, that. I definitely I just, think they have a, there's something about yeah. the way they both perform yeah. their characters that's really good, but they also were the first ones I really heard doing voices of them. Like, know? I feel like if I'm trying to be objective and without any bias, yeah, he's the best. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's where I go with, like, you know, the, there's the sub-dub stuff, and then no, there's, like, I definitely Dragon Ball Z Abridge and stuff yeah. where I'm like, when I hear your Goku... I'm yeah. like, man, he sounds weird, you sure. know, because I'm used shit. to the DBZA the Goku and stuff. So muffin button, <clears throat> yeah, muffin button. Which I don't think. Oh, yeah, but said. have you guys ever heard Sean Shamel do a Kamehameha? I mean, I think probably at some point. I don't know if you have. I'm sure you've shown me videos. Like, look at this! Oh my god! I don't, look at this. I don't know. You gotta watch this. I don't watch know. This. You've heard it in like Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, man. Z- yeah, Fighter Z. <laughs> but it's not quite the same. So I don't know. But yeah, I, I just wonder like. I often wonder those kind of things, and if that's part of, I think that's part of like the dub sub war too. Of like, well, this is how I watched it. Sure, you I know. So this is this is what it is to me. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you, it's like Vader, right? Mm-hmm. Like James Earl Jones is Vader, but is if someone else did Vader, and then you heard James Earl Jones much later, 
is it James Earl Jones is so good at Vader? Yeah. Or is it that that's who your Vader sure. is? You know, and, and it's hard to it's hard to measure that because you can never really do that again. Yeah. So. There's something about the way <laughs> Kevin Conroy delivers. Like even in this one, it rubbed not wrong or anything, but like Kevin Conroy can say a line and I just buy it, and it's not like you know ridiculous sweat as it should be. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So it, I get you. Um, this guy did he did great. I just love the line where it's like, it's already started. How do you know? The water's on fire. <laughs> what? It's already started. <laughs> I love uh, how matter of fact he is. Like, yeah. sometimes you think, like, oh, he, he says that because he's done a whole bunch of research. Yeah. And, you know, he's come to this conclusion, and, and this is what he's presenting for his evidence. Mm-hmm. And other times he says it the exact same way. And it's like, because there's a sign over there that says it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, I, I just love I love oh. the the Batman character. What? How he can, how yeah. he can yeah. deliver something. I'm I'm paying attention. Not You're not. Away. I'm. Yeah. It's not that. It's just that I'm not oblivious to things. It's not that I'm like a super genius or can read your mind. It's that I saw that sign right there. It said this. You yeah. Know, or, or whatever. Your 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 outfit said how. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I've always thought, man, I feel like Batman has way more willpower than. Green Lantern, Lantern, whose power is based on his will, you know? Yeah. Like, man, that would be crazy if he was a Green Lantern. And then they made Batman a Yellow Lantern at one point, and their power is based on using fear, which Batman is also really good at. So, (laughs) yeah. Well, I mean, as far as story-wise, I believe the next one in the the series is going to be Son of Batman. Son of Batman. I believe it's the next one in the in the oh, series of movies. Okay. And stuff, huh? so. Gotcha. Yeah, we're just going down that line. Who knows when it'll pop up on a poll? But you have to make sure you watch out for when it does. Um, we uh, did I have anything else? I don't think I did. Continue, Eric. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I think I believe the next one is Son of Batman. So yeah. as Eric was saying, make sure you just. Uh, watch for our polls it might not be on the next poll but it will be on a future poll and we'll be watching more of these as we go along so make sure if you're not uh check out patreon.com slash blind wave for the next movie poll reaction uh because there's going to be another poll up uh when this goes up on youtube so if you're seeing this on youtube it should be up right now right uh no okay the other way around we should fix that because it should be the other way <laughs> All right, guys, so make sure you guys are watching Patreon for new polls where they pop up every other week and subscribe for the new movie reactions and all the other reactions we do right here at Blind Wave every single day. Also, check out twitch.tv slash blindwave for live games and podcasts, which is also almost every day.